Hi everyone, my name is Logan and this week is HP Tool Week on our channel. Every day we're opening one of the new Ryobi HP tools and today we're taking a look at the Ryobi OnePlus HP Brushless Compact 3 8 inch right angle drill. This is the PSBR A02B. Let's check it out. All right guys, before we jump into this one, make sure to check out our other HP tools after you watch this video. We have a cool playlist linked in the description below of all the tools. And if you're not a subscriber, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you get notified each and every time one of our videos goes live. In addition to this week of the HP tools, we have some really great tools lined up to open, test, and review and we post new videos each and every week. Also, for those of you who have already seen us run through the specs on the box, there are quick links in the description and the play bar is broken up so you can jump ahead easily. All right, again, let's go through some of the specs before we open this one up. This is the Ryobi OnePlus HP Compact 3 8 inch right angle drill that boasts the most compact right angle drill in the market and two times more torque. Again, this one comes in at 3.6 inches. It has the brushless motor that provides 350 inch pounds of torque, and the two-speed motor provides zero to 450 and zero to 1,700 reps per minute. The ergonomic paddle trigger design and the onboard LED work light. That's basically it for the specs on the box. So let's go ahead and open this one up. Pretty cool design. Let's go ahead and just see what we have here. Again, this is the tool only. So as we pull this out, all we're gonna have is the tool, the operator's manual there, hang on to that. And then we have the Phillips flathead dual reversible bit. Pretty cool, we'll go ahead and take that out as we're gonna put that in here in just a second. But let's take a look at this. This is some really good grip there. I am loving this new grip that they've got going on. If we look at one of the other uh, tools here, you can just see the difference. It's got, it's, it's much darker, feels a little more tacky, obviously, these ones are more worn, but you can see it's a little bit darker, which is really cool. We'll just work our way up. So standard battery terminal. Now it does not have the HP connectors. That is one thing that's very interesting about these new HP tools is they do not have the HP connectors that match the HP batteries. Make sure to watch some of the other YouTubers that kind of talk about why or why not that might be the case. Unfortunately, that's not something that we're gonna get into in this video, but you can definitely comment below and let us know what your thoughts on that are. Very large oversized trigger. You can see, you can grip this just about anywhere. Obviously the largest part is right here, but you could be all the way up here, I guess. Um, I don't know that I've ever needed to use it like that. Maybe, maybe kind of in reverse or in, you know, something like that maybe. So really cool. I mean, it's, it's big. That's, that's one thing that they were pretty proud of. Um, you have your forward and reverse toggle here and neutral in the middle that locks it out. Keep going up here. You do have the two speeds on the back one and two. So you have your drill and drive modes there. LED light, three eighths inch chuck. Let's go ahead and throw the bit in like so. Lock that down. Okay, that feels, feels good. I mean, this is, this is very textured. It feels like you would have, you definitely can get a grip on this. Even though this is a very small area, it, it feels solid and secure. So that's, that's very nice. Uh, we'll go ahead and throw in a battery. And this is the three amp hour HP battery. So this does have the extra contacts, which again, this does not. But again, we're just going to test it out here. Just let you hear the different speeds. We'll go to speed one. There it is. And speed two. Now, one thing that I'm noticing is interesting, again, because we're 
this is so compact, I'm actually putting my hand over the exhaust here a little bit. So I'm not sure how that's going to work in a heavy work environment. If you're really, really tight and you got both hands on this, putting some pressure, just interesting that your hand, I can feel the air coming out when I'm holding like this. So obviously not ideal to hold it there, but they do have some of these places where you can kind of get your hand in and put some pressure on it. So pretty cool. Some things that are not included with this. First off, no bit holder, no mag tray, no belt clip included in the box. I think you could add the belt clip um, on either side, but no included belt clip. Three things that probably not a big deal to most people. Personally, I would like to see them. Hopefully the future versions, future tools um, have them because kind of a miss in my opinion. Otherwise, looks good guys. Let's go ahead and try it out. For the drilling options, we have everything from the standard drill bit to the hole saw, even a Fossner bit and the paddle bit. And then for the different driving tests on this one, we've got a couple different Phillips heads here, the T25 three inch screws, the four and a half inch lags, and then a couple of three and five eighths inch lags with the hex driver. So should be a pretty good range of tests between the drill and drive. And then as far as the batteries we're gonna use, we've got the 1.5 amp hour lithium battery. These are the brand new batteries that they've come out with. And then the three amp hour HP lithium plus battery. So we'll try those all out. First thing we're gonna do is put it in mode two. So that is the faster, higher speed for drilling. And we'll go ahead and make sure it's clicked over into forward or down and let's go ahead and get started. Whew. That was like butter. Now for the one inch Fossner. So that one's on me. Didn't have it locked in. Um, cut right through it. Did a great job. I just didn't have it locked in. Oops. All right, now we have the one and a half inch paddle. Obviously, again, make sure it's locked in. We've also secured this down so that it doesn't move around. So you may have noticed a couple times it got stuck or it was uh, getting jammed. Definitely with these bigger paddle bits, that's just uh, a good thing for the tool to do is if, it, if it's getting wedged in there or funny, what it's doing is it's stopping and keeping you from ruining the tool because I was putting too much pressure uh, down on the, the bit and so it was jamming and, and the tool was smart enough to say, hey, you're pushing too hard, so it cut off and it made me kind of reset and, and go again. Now for the two inch hole saw. Let's give this one a try. Go ahead and go right about there. Putting, again, too much pressure there, so we'll just ease up on it. And before we move on to the driving, we're gonna go ahead and throw in the three amp hour battery. We've got the half inch bit again, just to get a feel for what this is like with the three amp hour battery versus that 1.5 amp. Let's see if we can hear or feel a difference. So that was impressive. I don't know if there was much of a difference. Let's try out the Fossner bit and see if we can tell a difference there. So kind of a weird quirk as you go to uh, tighten the bit, and I think this is what happened last time when this one fell out, it wasn't locking because there's not a lot to grab onto, it was just kind of spinning. And so I actually had to hit just now, I had to 
kind of engage it to let it know that I'm locking in a bit and then it was able to lock just fine. So we'll see if it stays in this time. Um, hopefully I got it on there good and tight. So again, we've got the three amp hour battery in this one inch Fostner bit. See, so right here, see how it just slips? See how it's just slipping, 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 slipping? Oh, finally caught there. After, after a while, it finally caught. But the other trick I found is if you just tap the, the trigger here, then it kind of engages and then you can get some good torque on it. So I don't know why it does that, but that's what it does. So first up with the standard Phillips, uh, I believe there's number eight, about an inch and three eighths uh, inch long. So we'll go ahead and just put some of these in here, just into the two by four. All right, now on to some real screws. We've got these three inch T25 uh, star bit head screws. We're gonna go and send them through the two by four down into the uh, other two by fours. sunk it. Wow, plenty of torque. That is just going all the way through. We'll sink the other two with the three amp hour battery. I'm not seeing a lot of difference with the three amp hour battery, by the way. All right, this is where it starts to get interesting. These are pretty big lags. So we'll go ahead and send them down through the two by four into the four by four. I'm not sure how many we're gonna be able to get in there. So we'll do uh, just one and see how it does, see if we can hit uh, pretty straight. This might end up splitting all the wood. Yep, that did a good job. It did start to split the wood below. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the rest of them into these two two by fours. So it ends up being a lot of two by four, but unfortunately this four by four doesn't look like it's going to be able to handle uh, these lags into it. Let's go ahead and just take this one out for fun. <laughs> 1 1.5 amp hour battery, the four and a half inch screw. As far as the 1.5 amp hour battery, everything we've done so far, still have three bars left, 75-ish percent left on the battery. Three amp hour battery, same thing. So that was the first time that I really noticed the three amp hour battery over the 1.5. Okay, so there it is, still four bars left on the three amp hour battery. Not really surprised there, but that's all the tests we're doing today. So let's talk about this one. Likes, dislikes, um, quirks, improvements, emotions, all that good stuff. First off, some of the things we like about this one, obviously it's a right angle drill. Um, so the compactness here is very nice being able to get bits that you wouldn't normally uh, with a standard drill driver. I mean, look at the difference there. Like you can get into places that you just really cannot with the standard drill. So size wise, that's awesome. Honestly, it's not one that I've ever owned before. I've never owned a right angle drill. I've just assumed if I can't get in with a standard drill that I'm gonna find another way. But for those people that really enjoy the right angle and honestly around the house where you're working in tight confined areas 
it is probably going to be a nice go-to tool. Like the rest of the HP tool line, love the LED light, that is phenomenal. The oversized trigger was nice in a few situations. Honestly, I don't know that it's one that I cared too much about or really noticed too much, but it did work well when I, when I used it, so that was nice. Two speed was awesome for your drill and drive modes. I was really happy with how well it performed with the 1.5 amp hour battery. I didn't even notice the three amp hour difference other than one of the lags that we were putting in. They performed almost identically. So that's really cool knowing that it's taking advantage of these 1.5 amp hour batteries similarly to how they perform with the three amp hour batteries is really cool. I like that. Next on to some of the quirks. The way that it locks is not as good as I think it should be. I obviously, I lost one of the bits one of the times because it would kind of spin and didn't really engage or I thought it engaged, but it didn't. Um, so you have to kind of tap the trigger to let it know that you're kind of locking something in and then give it a good twist and you can feel it engage. So again, just something to be aware of. I don't know if that's just the way that I'm using it. Maybe I'm doing something wrong, but it felt a little off or a little funny. It wasn't it wasn't 100% reliable. I mean, there is kind of a clicking noise, but you can't really feel it when you're locking the it in place. You don't, there, there's not much to feel. It is very grippy, so you can get a good grip on it, but um, again, just something to be aware of. So my dislikes on this one are a bit nitpicky, mostly because we didn't really push this to failure. This should be used in pretty general, I think this was uh, maybe even more than what you would normally use it for, and it did just fine. So that being said, thumbs up. But if I'm gonna get a little bit nitpicky here, the first one is the belt clip. I don't know why they didn't include it. It seems like a little thing, and maybe that's why they didn't, because it was a little thing and they just didn't want to do it. It is what it is. The second thing is the power. And again, this is meant to be used in tight locations where you're not putting a whole bunch of force, but I could definitely tell it was underpowered for what we were doing. Again, we were pushing it a little bit harder than I think maybe normally. Uh, you may be doing some hole saws that big, but in general, you're probably not pushing it that hard. But I could feel a want for power, especially with the hole saw and the lag. It, uh, even though it was, it was going through, I've used drills more powerful, and so in my mind, I wanted more power. Again, not that it needed it, not that it struggled, none of that, just that I know what more power feels like. So in my opinion, or in my head, I was looking for more power. Again, that's nitpicky, not something that it's needed, but if I'm going to say something about this in the negative is that it felt a bit less powerful than other drills and drivers that I've used. So to summarize guys, this normally wouldn't be a tool that I would be super excited for, but based on what it was able to do, how well it works, the power that it gets out of these batteries, I'm really satisfied. I'm really happy with what I see here. I probably will use this more than I thought I would, honestly. I think that this has more applications, especially again in the house. I think even my wife will probably want to start using it because it is nice and compact. It's not super heavy and she can just pick it up and use it quickly. It's got a good feel to it. You can even use two hands on it if you want to get some leverage or some weight behind it, some pressure. And I think it'll make for a nice add to our collection. So that's what I think about this, but what did you think? Was that what you expected out of this tool or are you looking for more? Let us know in the comments below. And while you're down there, comment below and let us know what tool you want to see Ryobi make next in their HP line. Well, that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe because we upload new videos each and every week. And we've got another HP tool coming tomorrow. So stay tuned for that.
I always like to make a mess at the first. I don't know why. It's what I do. Messy, messy, messy. That sucks. <laughs> That's actually impressive. It's on reverse. <laughs> Goodness, that, that was drilling a hole in reverse through three two by fours. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, we need a whole reel of just bad form. Hold it down, hold down what you're working with. It's just dangerous. Oh, my God.